I really like this question. I think a lot of people are going to hate it because they're going to be like, this is mean. They, they shouldn't be tr tr testing all these crazy words that no one uses, like desultory and spurious. Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree that they're words that no one uses, but let's let's take a closer look as we go through the passage here. I don't think it ends up being that hard if we're just kind of flexible and open-minded here about these words. So one popular theory of the origin of the moon, the Big Whack, posits that a protoplanet called Theia collided with Earth, flinging debris into orbit that eventually coalesced into the moon. So just as an aside, posit is a good word to know. It means kind of like hypothesize, to put forward as an idea. You're, you're supposing something. Uh, so good word to know because there's a lot of science passages in the SAT. And then coalesce means come together. Until recently, Theia was blank. But, there's that but we see in a lot of these questions, this person uh, now claims to have identified pieces of the protoplanet in the lowermost section of Earth's mantle. So it's not really about the planet. And, and so to me, when I'm looking for this contrast and trying to fill that blank, the, the strong word that stands out here is identified, right? Until recently, Theia was unidentified, but now it's identified. That's really the contrast. So I'm stealing my word. They are basically giving you the definition of that blank. Now, of course, the but is making us flip the definition, but I'm still not being very clever here. I'm looking for something that kind of means that in some way we didn't know the planet or something like that. So then we look at these choices, and even if you don't know three of them, the one that's the answer, notional, is not that uncommon of a word. I probably wouldn't use it very often, but the word that it's derived from, the word notion, that's a pretty common word. It's not like an everyday word, but it's not that crazy of a word for you to know. A notion is kind of just like an idea, like a feeling. It's not something proven. It's not a fact necessarily. It is an idea. And so here, this is perfect. Until recently, Thea was some sort of idea, but now we have identified pieces of it. We have proof of it. So it, it fits into that pretty easily. And yes, notional is not a very common word because of just like not a lot of opportunities to use it, but it's derived from a more common word that really I think anyone in 11th grade should know. I don't think that that's that hard of a word. A notion is not that crazy of a word. So it ends up that all these other words, which I do think are more crazy, are more out there that I don't you know blame you for not knowing. Uh, these words end up not mattering if we're comfortable just kind of adjusting slightly a word that is a little bit more familiar to us. But just to throw it in there, uh, desultory means kind of like random or unorganized. Um, it's just kind of thrown in there. So it doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense here. They was desultory, uh, or the, the, uh, yeah, they was desultory. It just doesn't even make sense. It was random. It doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Spurious is closer to maybe possibly fitting in the blank. It kind of means like, uh, untrue or just like a lie. Um, a, a, a spurious remark is kind of where I've heard that before. And it just basically means you're making something up about someone usually. So, uh, that might suggest that Thea is some sort of thing that people made up and isn't really true, but we don't want to go that far. It's they're, they're saying they had it as a theory. So that doesn't make any sense. And veritable, this is where maybe roots of words actually do help because veritable comes from the word verify, right? Or the, that kind of same root, the idea of truth. So if something is veritable, it's, um, you know, provable or um, genuine. And so we don't want to say that yet, right? Because we're contrasting. Now we might be able to identify it and have some provability there. But we're contrasting with that idea and saying before it wasn't veritable. We didn't know for sure that it existed. It was just an idea. It was just a hypothesis. But now it's we have, you know, we can verify it. So, yeah, those are three hard words that I I, I don't think I have used e any of those three words, A, B and C, in the past year, maybe two, three, four years of my life. It just there's no there's no reason to use those words. They're weird words. But notion, notional, you know, it's a little bit more common. I'm probably getting that one in once every couple months. And so those are the kind of words that if we do know them, we have a much better chance at the SAT. They use those words a lot. But if they change them slightly, we need to be flexible enough to recognize the, the kind of the root word and, uh, and still be comfortable enough to pick it and not worry so much about the other three.